Phosmid, Wikipedia Audio Phosmids are similar to cosmids but are based on the bacterial F. plasmid. The cloning vector is limited, as a host can only contain one phosmid molecule. Phosmids can hold DNA inserts of up to 40 kb in size, often the source of the insert is random genomic DNA. A phosmid library is prepared by extracting the genomic DNA from the target organism and cloning it into the phosmid vector. The ligation mix is then packaged into phage particles and the DNA is transfected into the bacterial host. Bacterial clones propagate the phosmid library. The low copy number offers higher stability than vectors with relatively higher copy numbers including cosmids. Phosmids may be useful for constructing stable libraries from complex genomes. Phosmids have high structural stability and have been found to maintain human DNA effectively even after 100 generations of bacterial growth. Phosmid clones were used to help assess the accuracy of the public human genome sequence. The fertility plasmid or F plasmid was discovered by Esther Lederberg and encodes information for the biosynthesis of sex pillus to aid in bacterial conjugation. Conjugation involves using the sex pillus to form a bridge between two bacteria cells, the bridge allows the FN cell to transfer a single stranded copy of the plasmid so that both cells contain a copy of the plasmid. On the way into the recipient cell, the corresponding DNA strand is synthesized by the recipient. The donor cell maintains a functional copy of the plasmid. It later was discovered that the F factor was the first apism and can exist as an independent plasmid making it a very stable vector for cloning. Conjugation aids in the formation of bacterial clone libraries by ensuring all cells contain the desired phosmid. Phosmids are DNA vectors that use the F-plasmid origin of replication and partitioning mechanisms to allow cloning of large DNA fragments. A library that provides 20-70-fold redundant coverage of the genome can easily be prepared. Discovery the first step in sequencing entire genomes is cloning the genome into manageable units of some 50 to 200 kilobases in length. It is ideal to use a phosmid library because of its stability and limitation of one plasmid per cell. By limiting the number of plasmids in the cells the potential for recombination is decreased, thus preserving the genome insert. Phosmids contain several functional elements. Or it, the sequence which marks the starting point of conjugative transfer, or EV, the sequence starting with which the plasmid DNA will be replicated in the recipient cell, traregion, genes coding the F pillus and DNA transfer process, is, so called selfish genes. An example of a mapped phosmid can be found here http colon slash slash what dash when dash how dot com slash molecular hyphen biology slash f hyphen plasmid hyphen molecular hyphen biology. The methods of cutting and inserting DNA into phosmid vectors have been perfected. There are now many companies that can create a phosmid library from any sample of DNA in a very short period of time at a relatively low cost. This has been vital in allowing researchers to sequence numerous genomes for study. Through a variety of methods, more than 6,651 organisms' genomes have been fully sequenced, with 58,695 ongoing. Sometimes it is difficult to accurately distinguish individual chromosomes based on chromosome length, arm ratio, and C-banding pattern. 
Phosmids can be used as reliable cytological markers for individual chromosome identification and fluorescent in situ hybridization based metaphase chromosome karyotypes can be used to show whether the positions of these phosmids were successfully constructed. The phosmid system is excellent for rapidly creating chromosome specific mini BAC libraries from flow sorted chromosomal DNA. The major advantage of phosmids over other cosmid systems lies in its capability of stably propagating human DNA fragments. Highly repetitive in nature, human DNA is well known for its extreme instability in multi-copy vector systems. It has been found that the stability increases dramatically when the human DNA inserts are present in single copies in recombination deficient E. coli cells. Therefore, phosmids serve as reliable substrates for large-scale genomic DNA sequencing. Useful tools such as the NCBI nucleotide database allow researchers to search for other phosmid libraries to compare for homologous DNA sequences between species. DNA Libraries Uses